On this video, we're going to discuss the difference between theoretical and empirical probability. So first, we have this jar here with these six marbles, and we're asked to find the theoretical probability that you'll pick a purple marble from the jar below. So theoretical probability is what should happen. So if we're just focusing in on this jar, there are six different marbles in the jar, so there's six possible outcomes, so that's our denominator, and one of those is purple. So the theoretical probability would be one-sixth. So now let's talk about ex empirical probability, which is the same as experimental probability, um, and this is based on data that you collect. Um, so let's say that we conduct an experiment, we close our eyes and randomly select a marble over and over and over again. and record the results of what color we're picking. So over here on the right is showing our results from the experiment. Um, we picked 30 times and we're asked to find the empirical probability of picking a marble based on this data. So in this case, the denominator is not six, it's the number of experiments that we conducted. So it would be 30. And then our numerator is the number of those experiments that resulted in a purple marble, what we're trying to find the probability of. And in this case, there are five purple marbles that were selected in our experiments. And if we simplify this, this is also one-sixth. Now, in this case, our, um, our theoretical and our empirical probability are the same, but that's not always going to be the case. Typically, the more experiments you do, the closer your empirical probability is going to get to your theoretical probability. 